Kirk here. Um, I'm finally back in my studio. It's been three weeks, three weeks since I've painted anything and I'm anxious to get started on a new painting. Um, most of the time I like to build my own composition from a series of photos. I really don't get a chance to get out and take my own photography. So I like to assemble my own images, but um, I recently stumbled across an image of pictured rock, which I had kind of forgotten about pictured rock, but this is an area of northern Michigan by Lake Superior where the rock formation is just gorgeous. And of course, you've got all the foliage of Michigan, the beautiful blue water of Lake Superior. But um, a friend from high school, Cindy, who had mentioned on Facebook that she had gone to Pictured Rock and she sent me one of the images and I think at some point she wants a painting but she does own one of my paintings from Lake Tahoe um, but um, I kind of got interested in the whole uh, that area and I came across an image that I that's uh, of Pictured Rock that I just couldn't resist so I'm gonna paint right from the photo I am going to use a loose stroke so that it has like a broken color uh, basically an impressionistic style to it um, the type that when you back up it looks as sharp as a photo but when you get up close you can see all the brush strokes and see all the paint work and the thick paint and I'm gonna add to it by um, probably adding a little boat is what I'm thinking about doing um, see if I can find the image here here it is right here this is the photo right here okay and you can see it's just, it offers so much variety of color, of texture. You have this, you can see the sandy bottom along the shoreline and the water blues up as it goes out to the horizon. You've got a real, a real cerulean blue sky which almost starts to take on a color of cobalt up on top. And uh, a, a glow to the sky off in the distance. We've got a nice dark shadowed background with a variety of greens and oranges and yellows. And then of course you've got your rock formations and uh, you've got your rock formations with its undertones and its highlights and some birch trees overhanging the bank. And then what I'm going to do off here, out in the distance, off of sh offshore, I'm going to uh, put a little sailboat in there just to mix it up a little bit. But anyway, that's, this is going to be my next project. I'm looking forward to it. I'm just going to paint from the photo, but I'm going to use nice loose strokes and it's going to be on this 16 by 20 uh, canvas that I have in front of me. So this is my next project. I'm anxious to get going again. I'm probably going to just, this is probably just going to be another speed painting um, until I can develop some instructions, but I think for the most part, still the majority of people like just the entertainment value of the speed painting. So. With that, I'm going to go ahead and get started, and uh, I will catch up to all of you later.